Hello everyone, this is Dr. Vaughn, and I am going to make a very short screencast video for you this week as part of the guidance. Um, I'm going to do a problem from your book that's very similar to one that you actually have to do on your homework. I know many of you will probably do this in Wiley Plus, and they have different kinds of tools available in Wiley Plus. Uh, the problem I'm going to be doing is 3.18. I believe you have to do 3.17 and 3.19a on your homework this week. Uh, and so hopefully this will help you out. Also, just a little chance to talk about correlation and scatter plots for just a minute. So what I have here is some data that was provided in the stem of this particular problem. These are paired data. You have a variable called x and a variable called y. They're paired together by the rows, and I've entered them into a very short Excel spreadsheet. We're going to do a couple of different things. Um, the part A of this particular problem says to create a scatter plot diagram. This is very easy to do in Excel once you have your data entered like this. You can just highlight the different cells that have the pair data in them like this and then click on the insert and then go to the chart area and click on the scatter and then the scatter plot, the upper left one. We don't want any of the lines connecting them, just the dots. So there's the scatter plot with the markers click on that and here's our scatter plot. So you have your X graphed along the horizontal axis and your Y graphed along the vertical axis and you can see the point for example X equals 1, Y equals 6 is this dot right here. And, and uh, so you have all six dots, uh, I'm sorry, five dots uh, represented in this particular scatter plot diagram. Notice also that if you actually can, you can double click on this chart and it'll bring up the different kinds of things. If you want to change the axis style, if you want to add a title, if you want to look at some different colors, some different styles and formats, you have lots of different options for kind of formatting your scatter plot diagram. Maybe you don't like these horizontal line grid lines going across. All right, so I'm going to just kind of move this graph off over to the side over here. And then the other thing that I'm going to do, just for the demonstration purposes of this video is to show you how you can use Excel to compute the Pearson correlation. The correlation, this is called the R value, is a number somewhere between minus one and plus one. And if it's minus, it's going to be a negative correlation, which uh, the closer it is to plus or minus one, the closer it is to lying on a perfectly straight line. And if it's negative, it's going to be sloping downward, like these dots are sloping downward. And if it's positive, it's going to be sloping upward. So here I'm going to expect, just because of how um, tightly packed along a line these dots are, I think we're going to have a very strong negative correlation. It's probably going to be pretty close to negative 1. It'll never actually equal negative 1 unless it's a perfectly straight line, and this one's not. Uh, but in, in uh, Excel, what you do, I just have a little cell uh, with a title, but I go to an empty cell where I actually want to compute and place the value for this Pearson R value, and then you can go up to formulas and click on this button here that says insert function. And the one that I'm looking for is C-O-R-R-E-L, which for me is right at the top of my list. For you it might be a little further down. C-O-R-R-E-L is the correlation. Click OK. And the array 1, you can click on this button right over here in order to drag in the cells that are going to go into the first variable arguments. And click on this little button right here to take you back to the menu. Go to the second array and just put the Y values into that and then click OK and then click OK. And it shows you that the Pearson correlation is negative 0 0.099. Again, very, very close to negative 1 and that's what we would expect because this is a, a almost linear downward sloping line. Alright, so that's the extent of this uh, very brief video. I hope this has been useful and if nothing else, you got to hear my voice and I wish you the best of luck this week.